So you are probably thinking that I should give you some project idea right so that you can excel on the LSI field and I can do that I can just simply tell you that yeah you can do this project or that project for example you might be reading your Sedra and Smith so you can just go to the back of every chapter there are exercise and you can find out many idea like design op-amp for this specification or some digital circuit and trust me if you have never done any project till now these are a very great start but see in long term you need to write the project you have done in your cv and as this idea are too simple so this can be done by everybody right so your cv will look say, like say, as, as every other people and additionally if you have some interesting project in your CV then most of the time your interviewer will concentrate on that project only and they will ask maximum of question from that project only and which imply they are asking you from an area where you are strong at because you have done a project on that topic and it is a great area right so that's why having an interesting or some unique project in your CV is a must in long term in beginning you can start with a simple project but in long term you need to have some unique project idea so this video is for that only here i won't be giving you any project idea but i'll be making you capable of finding out on your own some unique or specialized project idea so if this excites you then please press the like button and i am starting the video right now hey hi new people i am rasdeep your big brother and currently I have working with Intel as a CAD engineer. Welcome to episode 2 of VLSI project. So tell me first question why we need to do project. Simple answer and the most important reason could be that it will make our CV look strong and also it let interviewer know that you know the flow like how to apply your concept from the book to the real world using some idea tool or something that is the main purpose of doing a project but another purpose of doing a project is that if you do project on any specific topic then that working on that project make you more confident on that area for example if you are working on designing an inverter then you are not only designing your inverter but you are also spending your time with the mosfet right so that means any question which might be arriving on the mosfet or the inverter you will be in a great shape to give the answer more confidently and why confident is so crucial because see do you think all the interviewer know everything what they are asking no they are asking you those questions and they don't know the exact answer because they are not revising those things right they are working on industry they might be working on some other thing so whenever they ask you any question and you if you give that answer out of confident if it is slightly not true also that answer then also because you are confident the interviewer feel that yeah that is a correct answer for example if i now tell you something without any confident like um, i'm seeing here and there you won't be finding it interesting right but as i'm confident you are also finding it interesting and same thing will happen with the interviewer also if you can give the answer confidently he or she will find you an interesting person who know his skill so there will be a larger probability that they will hire you so that's the main two reason we need to do a project and not a project many project and i will be suggesting you don't go for only analog or digital as per my suggestion or my experience your cv should have one or two analog or digital project from both the field if you are interested in digital field then do two project or three project from digital and at least one basic project from analog so now the main question how to find out a unique or a specific project which will use most of the theory or many of the theory from your book and for that the step one is that if you have some paid access to idea tool then great but if you don't have then you need to use some open where idea tool and for that i will suggest you please go to this video the episode one there i have explained you like how to initiate your open tool software and also there i have given one project idea simple project idea do it first do it in schematic do it in layout compare both of these two and get the result this is the first step second step is that start with a digital project for first time because comparatively digital projects are easier and quicker to implement than analog counterpart and how to find the 
great project idea so for that see for example we want to do a 4 bit adder it is too simple right so first step would be design your 4 bit adder same as your book same as your book don't use any special or anything any extra thing just design it get your result same as book your step 2 is done and for knowing how to design a 4 bit adder you need to see first of all you need to clear your btech level digital circuits and then you need to also refer to this nptl course or you might be having the book digital ic design by rave so revise all your fundamental theories and note down all the figure of merits like uh, working frequency its area its power consumption and blah blah it will for sure have many figure of merits so write down those figure of merits and then see in your basic design which you just simply done using by referring to book or the NPTEL course and see how much you are able to achieve and after that we will do to optimize it and how to know that how to optimize that circuit and for that we will search the journal research journal so for that we will open our browser and if you are in your college then probably your college have IEEE subscription because to see a IEEE paper you need to have a subscription or if you are not sure if your college have the subscription or not ask your librarian and if you don't have a subscription in your college then also it's not a obstruction you can use the free tools there are many free, free tools to get the research paper for example i use this one research gate so go to research gate and write down anything like we want to design a 4-bit uh, adder so i'll write 4-bit adder simply is that we will do some research work like what currently is going on in 4-bit uh, adder we will search and then we will see like if we get some result for example see this is a good looking result so let me go there we need to like do like error and trial method you need to go to every each like we need to for one project you probably we need to refer 5 to 10 or 20 research paper after that only we will get interesting topic so for example it's a efficient design of 4 bit binary error using a reversible logic gate probably we don't know what is a reversible logic gate and this type of term make your project unique or more specific so we will just go to download full text so it's given us introduction like as any research paper you will give you like what already is happening and then in the next section they will be giving you an idea like how they have designed it probably a few of the research paper would be very tough you probably won't be able to implement it but there are a few research paper who, who which are a little bit easy and if you are not finding out like what this research paper is talking about and what you can do you do you can go to introduction section and you can find out like they have cited like one two like from there they have also taken their theory for this cited this research paper so you can go to the last research like last of your research paper and see uh, these are the reference they have used so you can probably go to one of this research paper but see it is of 1961 so it's very old it's okay to do uh, your project from this one but i will recommend you to do a project which is not older than five years from now or if you find it no it's not of my kind then you can go back here and you can find out some other idea from 4 bit full adder like i can write out a uh, research gate for pit adder and then high frequency for example uh, see here we, we are getting this result design a high speed and a low power this is actually crucial for now we always want high speed and low power so we can go there and we can see like i'm just giving you an idea right and you can do same thing for every project and it's true to do a simple project it might take you three to four months and keeping your patience and keep going for that project is the main hack of doing any project any good project and if you have ieee access ieee explorer then this literature survey become more easy actually i would be suggesting you try with a four bit adder or some multiplier basic block of digital and then try designing a basic op amp in analog section if you don't want to pursue your career on analog then that basic project would be sufficient and before i go to next step many of you still haven't subscribed my channel so let me give you some reason to subscribe my channel see this so
statistics will change after this video subscribe my channel because in this playlist of vlsi project probably i won't be updating very frequently but in one month or alternative month i will bring out some project idea or probably i will be doing some live project and showing you the result like how to do those projects now the most important thing you need to remember and that is as i phrased earlier a project could go for six months also and many of time we start a project for example basic inverter block only you face some constraint and you just leave it like no project is of not my cup of tea but don't do this thing and to give you motivation throughout your journey for that project try to know why you are designing that project for example a inverter what is the real life application of a inverter see this is a laptop this has a processor and processor mostly of digital and any digital block can't be made without inverter like i said a 4 bit adder adder is a so much important block in your processor remember your signal and system in signal and system what do we do we do fourier transform fft there if you go inside the algorithm you will find many addition and many time multiplication are there who will do those things your 4 bit adder only could be it is a 32 bit adder so that's why th these are the important in real life so know the real application of that block and then you will find the motivation to keep on going for that project to finish that project for placement purpose to crack your interview note down all the challenges you faced anytime you feel like now i'll give up my project i i'm not continuing this project because you have faced some uphill right you face some constraint that's why you want to just leave that project write down what that uphill or constraint is note down all your failure or all your struggle and in the interview try to tell what are the obstruction you faced and if you don't know how to deviate your interview as you want see my this video here i have given some idea how you can let your interviewer ask what you want to tell them and sometimes in project we use some special tool for example 20 8 nanometer pdk right so interviewer will ask you why you have used 28 nanometer pdk why not 180 uh, nanometer pdk so that time you need to have the answer or probably what are the difficulty you faced with 28 nanometer compared to 180 nanometer so this type of answer you should keep ready and one most important thing and that is for your final year project consult with your professor because for final year project they will be the best guide for you so that's all for this video see you in some other video